The film opens at a ballet recital, where 12-year-old Abigail is giving her performance. She is being watched by three criminals. Three others outside a hacker, a sniper, and a getaway driver wait on them for orders. When Abigail is finished, the three inside abduct her and haul her off into the van. They make their way through the streets undetected before reaching a mansion. The group meets their leader, Lambert, who gives the group code names Joey, Frank Dan Stevens, Sammy, Dean, Peter, and Rickles. The goal is to hold Abigail for a $50 million ransom from her wealthy father and split it $7 million each after 24 hours. Lambert takes their phones and instructs them to not let Abigail see their faces before he leaves. The crooks gather for drinking and messing around. Frank, Peter, and Sammy each bet Joey money that she can't read them, but Joey correctly guesses that Frank is a former cop, Peter was an enforcer for the Quebec Mafia, and Sammy comes from money and does criminal activity for fun. Later, Joey goes to check on Abigail and has a brief bonding moment with her. Joey mentions that she has a son whom Abigail refers to as Justin since Joey won't say his real name. Before Joey leaves, Abigail tells her she is sorry for what is going to happen. Dean attempts to hit on Sammy but is unsuccessful. He goes down into the basement and is dragged away by an unseen attacker. Sammy hears his scream and goes to investigate, then finds Dean's head fall off his body. The others find the corpse and begin to freak out. Frank accidentally stumbles into Abigail's room where she sees his face. He holds his gun at her and demands to know who her father is. Abigail says it is Christophe Lazar, which fills Frank with dread as Lazar is a notorious underworld criminal figure. In Frank's cop career, he ended up on a job against Lazar that got four of his teammates killed by someone they believe to be Lazar's hitman, Valdez. Joey and Rickles privately discuss the possibility that Frank is Valdez and is trying to take out the group on his own to get the ransom money. As they try to find a way out of the mansion, Rickles is mauled to death by the same attacker. Frank then tells Peter they should just kill Abigail, but Joey steps in to stop him. They enter her room, where Abigail reveals herself to be a centuries-old vampire she was always Valdez. She lunges for the group, but they manage to escape the room. The group then starts trying to figure out how to deal with a vampire of this nature. They go for the basic tropes garlic cloves, crosses, silver bullets, and stakes. They try to ambush Abigail, who is dancing with Dean's corpse. Abigail gets Peter's cross necklace and starts stabbing him with it. Sammy's attempt to use garlic also fails, and she gets bitten by Abigail before falling into a pool of bodies of Abigail's previous victims. Joey eventually manages to bring Abigail down by using the same tranquilizer they used on her when they were kidnapping her. They end up locking her in a cage. When Abigail wakes up, Frank tries to threaten her. But Abigail begins to read each of the group and gives their real names. Sammy's real name is Jessica, and she stole from her parents before running away. Peter's real name is Terence, and she also brings up his past as a dumb brute for the Mafia. Frank is named Adam, and he was actually working for Abigail's father before she killed them and left their mutilated bodies for Frank to find. Lastly, Joey is really named Anna Lucia, who was a former army medic before her morphine addiction, caused her to accidentally nick an artery of a major crime figure, which is how Abigail and her father came to learn about her, and also what caused Joey to lose custody of her son. The others all had connections to Lazar and were specifically targeted by him and brought to Abigail as food by Lambert. Joey tells Abigail that she thinks Abigail is doing this for her father's love, though Abigail says that Lazar never loved her, and that she also likes playing with her food. Frank is tasked with watching Abigail, but she ends up breaking out of her cage and tries to choke him. Joey breaks open the boarded windows to expose Abigail to sunlight, which actually does hurt her. The group splits up to find a way out, but Sammy's vampirism takes over and Abigail begins controlling her like a puppet. She ends up killing Peter and sucks his blood out. Before she can go for Joey and Frank, Joey reflects sunlight towards Sammy, causing her to explode into bloody chunks. Joey and Frank go looking for a way to disable the mansion's security, but they end up finding a control room with Lambert inside. He reveals that he is also a vampire and admits to having brought the criminals there to be fed to Abigail and that there was never going to be any money. Lambert offers Frank a chance to join them by turning him into a vampire as well so they can take out Lazar and Abigail. Frank accepts and gets bitten, then stakes Lambert and blows him up moments later. Frank then goes after Joey and Abigail with the intention of taking over Lazar's empire. Abigail fights Frank, but he ends up drinking some of her blood, which makes him stronger. Frank then bites Joey and intends to turn her as well, 
but she resists his attempts to control her. Abigail tells Joey that she can be freed by killing the vampire that bit her, so they work together to overpower Frank and stake him, causing him to burst and quickly curing Joey. Night falls, and Joey prepares to leave, until she comes face to face with Lazar himself. He tells Joey that he has gone by many names, and you can probably guess what his most famous one is. He prepares to kill Joey until Abigail steps in and tells Lazar that Joey helped save her from Frank. With this, Lazar and Abigail let Joey live and go after her son, whom Abigail knows is named Caleb. Joey gets in a van and drives away to go find Caleb.